Nope, hands down. I didn't know what I was talking about. to my channel today obviously as you can tell by the title is going to be my two-year-old must-have slash my two-year-old's favorites um, currently this video has been requested for a little while now and I know I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get to filming it but I just for some reason felt like I didn't know what her favorites were I didn't have enough to make a video and then when I sat down to make it the list I was like oh yeah I totally have so many of her favorites right now that I can share with everyone so here we are so if you guys like these types of videos definitely give it a thumbs up that way I know to film more in the future that you guys enjoy these videos I also know that a lot of you have younger babies so you're kind of looking ahead to think like what is what's a must-have what are some gift ideas for little ones for their birthdays or whatever when they turn two um, and you like to look ahead at you know what your child might be into now obviously keep in mind every child is different every child's interests are different so just keep that in mind but these um, are Sydney's current favorites and the things that I think that are most universal for most two-year-olds or toddlers in general um, that things that they would like so without further ado let's jump into Sydney's favorites so this is my two-year-old Sydney if you guys are new to my channel my name's Haley this is Sydney she is two years and three months old two years and three months yes she is two years and three months old, and she is a wild child. <laughs> okay, so this not only is Sydney's favorite, but it is one of mommy's favorites as well. This is one of the Contigo Kids water bottles. You guys, this is my favorite cup. I know I've probably mentioned a bunch of cups on this channel as far as kids and babies go. Nope, hands down, I didn't know what I was talking about. This one right here is a must have. This is the only cup that we own in our house that does not leak or spill whatsoever whatsoever no obviously I mean I don't know maybe maybe kids a little younger my friend does have an 18 month old and he drinks out of this no problem and loves it um, but maybe a little younger it would be a little difficult because they do get quite a large amount of water in their mouths at a time I don't know you can go ahead and just use your best judgment but it does click down so it doesn't spill when you do that and then you just push the button you push that button right there and then the spout pops right up and they come in a bunch of different colors. They have, Amazon has a bunch of them. Target has a bunch of them. Um, but yeah, again, this is just the only one in my opinion that I have found that literally doesn't spill. All of our 360 cups, the caps come off of them now and they, they spill all the time. Um, or I just think with wear and tear, obviously cups break down, but yeah, Contigo water cups. And I know that they have stainless steel ones to keep things cold. I will definitely be getting her one of those for the summertime to keep her liquids and drinks cold. But yeah, do you like your cup? I want more cold water. And you want cold water in it now? Cause I promised you. All right, and then another one of Sydney's favorites right now are the um, like go and find books, the search and find, like where's Wallow essentially books. Um, the, this is sort of a new development of interest for her. We had a couple for the longest time and I, I never really broke them out. And recently they were the Mickey Mouse line and they make a bunch of like the Disney Junior Mickey Mouse, um, ones, princess ones, Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse. Anyway, we have a set of four of those and she loves them. And I just got this one on Amazon. This one's a really big one and it's super, super fun. This one's an animal one. So when you open the pages, it has pictures down at the bottom. You love this one, huh? Here, let me just show the camera and then you can read it, okay? Okay, this one looks like this, where it has all of the pictures down here that they can find. And then even some of them have like, find uh, here on another page. Um, it says like, here, over here, find two iguanas and things like that. So this one's gonna be educational too. This will help them count. Um, and they have different different themed ones, but I thought this one was really cute. Um, Sydney, Sydney loves it and hasn't had this one memorized yet, so I thought this would challenge her for the moment. This is going to be a really, really good idea to get them, you know, searching for things, get their eyesight going and their creative thinking um, and puzzle solving. It's like obviously you don't have to stick to the pictures down at the bottom. You can kind of quiz them on your own and um, find other things for them and letters and colors, shapes, all of the above. So one of Sydney's favorite things right now is her play kitchen and all pretend food and kitchen related things. Um, I know I've mentioned her play kitchen several times on this channel. She did get it for Christmas. Santa brought it for her. 
Um, and I will definitely insert a picture of the one that Sydney has. I highly, highly recommend. Doesn't have to be that play kitchen. I just, I highly recommend like a play kitchen, a food truck, a, fa a play grill, something along the lines. Um, right now, her imagination's just blooming and going crazy, and I feel like a lot of two year olds come into themselves and start to play pretend a little later on in the game, and it's just, it's so cute. So I love all of the pretend things. But long story short, getting to the food, but this pretend food is mommy's favorites along with Sydney's favorite because. It comes with a little couple of little knives, three knives and cutting boards, and you can cut the food in half with it. She feels like such a big girl. She doesn't totally get it. I still have to help her a little bit as far as coordinating goes, but you, I will try to film myself a little closer, but you take the knife and then listen, it makes the real cutting sound of the food. So cute. Sydney is occupied by this for so long. She absolutely loves it. Hand-eye coordination is amazing. She feels like she's really cooking in the kitchen with mommy or really cooking. And, you know, it comes with all kinds of different, I think there are all kinds of different um, forms of food, but this one happens to be the farmer's pack where it has fruits and vegetables, carrots, um, strawberry, corn, of course, tomato, apple. You get the drift, but it comes with this basket and I love having the food that comes with the basket to keep it contained as much as possible. So everything of course will be linked down below in my description box. And if you use my links, I am an affiliate, so I get a small commission if you use any of my links to purchase anything, but I really, really appreciate if you do. And if you don't, that's okay too. I will still leave them linked down below if you're interested in anything that I mentioned today. So I feel like this next thing is pretty much of a no-brainer to most people, but Sydney didn't come into wanting to color for the longest time, I feel like. She's recently into coloring so much, so. Okay, yes, honey. So the Crayola Ultra Clean Washable Large Crayons are mommy's favorites because they really do come off of everything. If you're like me, you're afraid of messes. I'm so afraid of making messes and getting things dirty and clothes and you know get him smushed in my carpet and all that stuff so I try to keep an eye on her for the most part but those crayons really do come out of a lot of things and they're so easy to wash and wipe with water um, and they just come off so I love the Crayola ultra washable crayons so crayons and stickers are huge right now with her and I know stickers probably will be a really cool thing for quite a while a lot of toddlers younger and older absolutely love stickers I sound like a broken record with the letters thing but another thing Sydney is wow. in love with are her magnetic letters wow. these ones are special wow. in my opinion because they're wow. jumbo and they definitely have a stronger magnet in my opinion we just put them on a cookie sheet I don't have them on my refrigerator I'm a crazy person I have them on a cookie sheet and Sydney loves playing with them she learned her letters super fast by playing with them daily and still plays with them daily and now we can start to spell. Now the pack that I recommend is the jumbo, the jumbo one. You can't spell a ton, a ton of uh, words with them so you might want to buy two packs, you might want to get a different pack altogether if you're into wanting to spell a ton. Um, I will probably get a second pack once we start spelling. Um, and they also have the jumbo magnetic, magnetic numbers, which I will be getting very soon. But I highly recommend if you don't have magnetic, magnetic letters, get them. They will start to learn the alphabet and the ABCs very, very soon. And it's just fun to play with. I feel like kids love to learn at this age and they're magnetic and they can just make a mess basically. We haven't gotten rid of our high chair totally yet. She still eats her messy meals in there and I think she still likes it. But we are going to be getting rid of the high chair very soon. We have our toddler table and chairs. I just bought the one from Ikea. It's very washable. At first I was so nervous about it, but I put a silicone mat down. Um, I highly, highly recommend getting a table and chairs. That way they can color, play with Play-Doh. They can eat their meals, start to be a big girl, big boy, um, and start to feel really independent. And just, I don't know, Sydney, there's something about sitting at her table and chairs. She feels like a big kid. And also I can keep, can contain more messes that way when she does um, play with Play-Doh. We usually play um, at the toddler table and chairs. But I got the one from Ikea. I think it's like 30 bucks. Super lightweight, hey, nothing crazy fancy. So, so many people have that one, probably because it's just super cheap and affordable and it's neutral. So it goes in any room, any uh, gender, anything. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. And it actually wipes down really easily. 
favorite, I think I've mentioned this in my past favorites video that I did for Sydney when she was a little younger, is her water table. I want, people ask me all the time, like, do you recommend it? What do you think of it? I totally recommend Sydney's water table. I know there are several different kinds and types, um, and I really, I don't know if you can go wrong. Maybe you can, I don't know. Um, but I honestly think it's a water table is going to last them at least three years of their life. Sydney loved it last year. She loves it this year. And we have a friend whose daughter is uh, three and a half or three. And she absolutely loves it as well. Not only hers, uh, Sydney's, but they have one at her house and she loves it. So I think a water table is definitely going to be something that grows with them, that they can use for several years. And for the price, honestly, if it lasts that long, it's, it's amazing. Um, the one that we have has the rain shower on the top that they can pour water in. It comes with, you know, frogs and, and turtle and what does it come with? It comes with frogs and buckets and, and all that. But Sydney absolutely loves it. So I highly recommend getting a water table if you have room um, anywhere outside. For newly obsessed with water beads in this house, Sydney got them for Easter and she loves them. Now, in my opinion, they're an outdoor activity. With my child, it's insane how much she throws and just steps on them and mushes them. But I think it's an outdoor activity in my opinion, but Sydney plays with them for a very, very long time. Her attention span is super short, but those water beads keep her entertained for so long. She can put them in buckets. She can pinch them with, be careful. She can, you know, okay, good job. Pinch them with tweezers and do you have to go potty? You got a boo-boo? Are you okay? Ow. You, you got hurt? I need an ice pack. You need an ice pack? I need an ice pack. It seems like you're okay though. So the pack that Sydney has comes with um, some scissor, like scoops and strainers and sifters and whatever else you call them. Love it and they're reusable. As long as you think your child's not going to just eat them, they say non-toxic. But yeah, Sydney definitely does not put them in her mouth, which shocked me, but she doesn't. So if you think your child can handle it, um, then I highly recommend getting water beads. It's a very fun sensory activity for them. If anything that can keep my toddler's attention span for more than like five, 10 minutes is an A in my book. <laughs> Another thing that a lot of people ask me if I think it's a necessity. Um, honestly, I didn't know if it was a necessity for a little while, and now that yeah. Sydney is completely potty trained, I am 100% positive a potty is a necessity. A lot of people were wondering if maybe they could just get the seat that goes on their big, big toilet and train them that way. Um, that might work for some. In my opinion, I totally 100% needed Sydney's potty. It's fairly inexpensive, so it really is worth the price in my opinion. I think hers is like 30 bucks or something like that. Um, but it helped her independently be able to run to the potty and go if she was in a dress without wearing undies or just naked, however you want to do the potty training thing. Um, but also, if you are traveling, you can bring the potty with you if you're in the car and just stick it in the back seat, trunk, front seat, wherever you have to. You can bring that with you if they have to go potty and you're like in the car somewhere out, which we've never had to do um, because I still sort of do pull-ups while we're out because I'm a little nervous Nelly. But I really, really think that getting them a little potty is... <laughs> Um, getting them to understand and I don't know it's fun for them I think if you're gonna be potty training anytime soon uh, I recommend getting a potty to just have in the bathroom acquaint them with it and it's fun for them I don't know hers has a little flusher she really doesn't even care about the bells and whistles um, but yeah just saying so I'm just gonna mention this in this video uh, Sydney's kitchen stool kitchen helper is such an amazing, amazing product that we've discovered not too long ago. Um, it was probably six months ago. And I'm not gonna say it's a must have because yes, it's fairly expensive. Maybe you can find just a stool or chair or something else. Um, but it's something that's extremely nice to have if you can swing it or if you're looking to, you know, splurge and invest in something of high quality and that's fairly expensive. I highly recommend the Kitchen Helper Stool. It's foldable and collapsible, so it just stays in my kitchen 24-7, and I fold it, fold it up, and it takes up hardly any space. But Sydney loves being at the counters and cooking with Mommy right now. It's just, it's one of the things that she loves the most is to be doing what Mommy's doing, you know, the household chores and cleaning and, and all of those things. Obviously, I think Bubbles is a huge hit right now. Sydney loves Bubbles. 
So we have bubbles, 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 absolutely everywhere. And I know younger and older kids love bubbles as well. So another one of her favorite toys is her ice cream cart. It's her push ice cream cart and it's by Leapfrog. Sydney absolutely loves this toy. It teaches her, you know, hand-eye coordination and counting. It has a couple of different bells and whistles on it. Um, but that's just a nice thing to have. It's not necessarily like a must have, you have to get it. That's just one of her favorite toys that she has currently. All right, you guys, so that is gonna do it for today's video. I hope you got some good ideas and unique ideas. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. And if you have anything that you can think of that your two-year-old, okay, that your two-year-old is in love with and you think is a must-have, definitely leave them in the comments down below so that we can help all moms out, um, moms and whoever else is looking at this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do all kinds of motherhood, lifestyle, day in the life vlogs, all kinds of videos. So I would love to have you a part of my channel here on YouTube and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye. Bye. You wanna say goodbye? Goodbye. Say goodbye. 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 Cause you